This is Florida. I think this is the first big weather event where I'm home and not on the streets. open the door and see Oakley for the first time. Well, Jack's first time since I moved all my stuff back. Okay, ready? Oakley! Hi! Hi! Hi. She's my, she, I'm her favorite. Oakley! Hi, baby! Oh my goodness! Hi, baby! the best kind of cuddles look <laughs> i've missed oakley so much every time we're always together she's always laying on top of jack i don't even get her you get all the cuddles yeah so sad she missed us i can't believe this is the first time you're seeing her since i quit my job <laughs> or yep. ended my job since you moved down. she's oh, oh my god oh, she did. Stink butt. Mm. Look at her. This is this is no. literally her. No kisses. She just cuddles him. She's really um, her hair is really long right now. She needs to be groomed so badly. She looks like a wild little beast. And now her hair is getting all over Jack's shirt. Oh, you can't even see it, but it's getting all over Jack's shirt. But she's in her happy dog world, and it's actually Oakley's. Third birthday, April 13th, or her 21st birthday in doggy years. Woo woo, woo woo, Oakley's turning 21. We made it, it's packed. We just lathered up in the sunscreen. I did get a sunscreen lip balm, sun bum, so we're not gonna be rookies. We're already eating all of it. Yeah, <laughs> we got the coconut flavor and he's eating all of it, but feeling good? Feeling good. Beautiful day to get some color. Oakley went about a quarter of a mile on our walk until it got to this point of the walk. How perfect is this weather compared to New York? We just left a week of New York. Well, more of like a week of Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. Made it to Florida and I'm in a tank top and shorts. I have a little suntan from the beach. No offense to Murfreesboro, but it is the Seattle of the South. It's just a soggy, sad, gray town that sometimes has sunshine. Got a lot done there, um, but it has been, the, we the weather there has been for like months and months, just wet and cold and like, if, if, if you could describe weather as lonely, that's how that weather feels. Don't take offense if you are a Murfreesboro resident and Loving the Murphy's respectfully or in Nashville. I said with all due respect. But we took a nice walk in my parents' neighborhood and we're just living this Florida weather. Oakley is spoiled as heck, living her best Florida life. She's chasing all the squirrels and all the birds and mm -hmm. it's just a nice little Florida sunset right now. And we're gonna go home and do what we do best, eat. So I feel like that's all I talk about is eating, but my mom's a real good cook. Yeah, we've been pretty good this trip. Yeah, this trip we've actually been eating a lot more mindfully and we did a nice walk and we walked at the beach so we've been moving and yeah, just a nice little Florida night. Oakley's in her diva princess mode. She's tired of walking. Look at this girl. And her father just enables it. Yeah, she's going to go on door. I admittedly have not been vlogging as much as I normally would or should have this weekend. This is the weekend that Jack and I were in town for Easter and then he flew back Sunday and now I'm here for three weeks because it's my mom's birthday, my cousin's birthday, a lot of April birthdays in our family. So figured I have the time and I might as well be here for all of them since I haven't been able to be here for a lot of them in years past. So here I am back in Florida, day one without Jack, and then I fly back May 1st, and then he ships off to boot camp May 30th. So it's about to be a crazy couple next months, and then of course, back to reality is how I feel right now. The high of the engagement, the vacation, all of that 
kind of ending, right? I mean, not really the engagement, obviously. I'm still so, so excited about this and to plan a wedding and to do all of that, right? But to be back in Florida and back with my laptop, it's like, all right, we gotta get a job, Jenna. We gotta, we gotta start doing it. So today, this morning, I spent hours writing cover letters to each an individual job I applied to. I applied to three jobs. So three individualized cover letters and resumes and filling out all those application processes. I am back to square one really because the two jobs I had mentioned to you on a couple of vlogs ago are not going to be working out for me. So one company, the PR firm that was paying me to do the writing test, they ended up going with another candidate and that's okay. I know there's gonna be a lot of rejection before I get something and maybe I was gonna be lucky enough to not have to experience all the rejection, but seems like I am now in that boat. And then the other company I was talking to, um, we, I guess, both mutually agreed that we were not gonna be a fit for each other. The tough part was the part-time work. I know I personally need a full-time job once I am done with this summer and this weird middle period. So really we were just kind of on, I don't wanna say different pages, but it's, I just don't think I'm the candidate for them. And I think I need to keep looking for some other jobs, but I really learned a lot in both application processes. Both are still incredible companies and I'm grateful to have had time interviewing with them and learning a little bit more about their companies and even just having the interview practice because guys, doing interviews are scary and I just, I don't know, like I can talk forever, but when it comes to just selling yourself and like selling your resume, it's always just, it's a, it's a little tough and it is nerve wracking. So anyways, we are back on to square one. I am applying to a couple more jobs I'm very, very excited about these opportunities. Again, early days, but we will see how they go. And yeah, I'm just kind of taking my time, applying to jobs that really interest me and looking for both in person, like around the area we'll be at as, lo as well as uh, some remote work. So if you guys know of anything in the PR, communications, media relations, roles, industry, let your girl know because I am open for work. I know I've only been off for like a month and a week now, but I don't know. I just, I like having a schedule. I like having things to do when it comes to work. And I've been fortunate to be able to like grow this YouTube channel during this time. And thank you all so, so much for the support. I can't thank you guys enough from truly from the bottom of my heart. But I think now I just want, I want a job. I want to be working again. So those are the raw emotions and raw feelings I have. This weekend was tough. I know Jack and I were sitting at the beach Saturday morning and I was just like, oh my goodness. Like I don't have anything. I don't have anything lined up. I have two no's right now and we're back to square one. And, you know, he was obviously really supportive and super caring and understanding and, you know, encouraging and is always willing to look over my resume and cover letter. And so for that, I'll always be grateful, you know, to have a partner that always picks you up, but I'm ready to find a job that I love and that I enjoy doing and is, and, and I want to do something that has meaningful work tied to it. So we'll see. I'm open. I'm looking and yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready for this next chapter. Let the wedding planning begin. I still can't believe that we're engaged and I still can't believe that I am now gonna have to plan a wedding. My mom and I today have been talking about like where we wanna do it and just, you know, maybe touring some places. And now I'm literally on the website, The Knot, asking us questions like when we got engaged, super cute photos, oh my goodness. But yeah, this is step one, I guess, aside from Jack doing the actual question, so. If you have any wedding tips, please let your girl know. <laughs> this is the look of a sad, sad Oakley. My poor baby got so excited to go on a walk just for it to, just for it to almost start raining. And then I couldn't even take her out because we, my, my cousin is borrowing my dad's car, which is the car that I've been using while I'm here because my car is in Murfreesboro by Jack. And that's where like the garage clicker is in. And then my mom has her car at work, so I I don't even, like, we have a courtyard home, so, like, we always just go in through the garage. I don't, we just, like, lock the front door, but I don't have a key to that. I never had a key to that growing up, but we don't leave it unlocked when we leave, so, 
Yeah, and then my little pin pad to the girl, you know, when you like go outside and the little pin pad, it does not work. So yeah, here we are. Poor Oakley got so excited. Look at her. She's just straight chilling now. But I had her little leash on. She was so, so happy to go outside. And I just am now the fun sucker. So I'm trying to convince my mom to go on a walk with us at like 7 because the sunset's around 7.30ish. So I'll take her out for sunset. Maybe we'll do that. But other than that, I have a lot of mixed feelings. So between now being engaged, trying to find a job, working on planning a wedding with my mom, uh, Jack is like, yep, you can pick anything you want. I'll show up. All I have to do is, I told Jack, I said, you have two jobs. You have to propose and then show up to the wedding and say, I do. And he agrees. Uh, he just wants to pick the music because we want to do, I think we want to do a live band. So that's all him. He has full control over that. And then I think I am pretty much doing everything else with my mom. And obviously I'll ask his parents what they think. And I want Jack to have say, but it is just funny. I don't, I don't think he truly cares like either way. He's like, you can just pick everything. And I, I we've kind of picked a rough date. I think we're going to do, uh, we're doing, we're definitely doing a longer engagement, but we're looking at March, 2025. So we definitely want two years. I think reason being with, him starting a new career, me starting a new career, the big move this year. I just want us to feel good in our work life and, you know, our new home life and everything like that. And I just don't want to be rushed by doing this in a year or even a year and a half. So that's how we're doing it. Two-year engagement. And I'm excited for it. I'm excited to just take it slow. We're going to have our whole life together to be, you know, husband and wife. So I'll ride out the fiance life just a little bit more. Speaking about all things wedding, I am on the hunt to find all the white cute clothes, all the white accessories, the bathing suits, you name it. I am going to be that bride. I know it's pretty basic, but it's never too early to start looking. And I'm really excited because my white bag just came in the mail. It is a Teddy Blake bag. It is from Italy. It is gorgeous. Even my mom thinks it's gorgeous and she is the most picky person when it comes to bags. So this is what it looks like. This is the Kim Stampato nine inch. I am a small bag lover. If you know me, I never have a big purse or I just make Jack hold all my things, but this is the perfect size for me. They have so many options on their website. So definitely check them out. But this one is great because it's super versatile. You can use it as just like a handbag or you can attach, which I already did, attach the straps to wear it over the shoulder, which is typically how I wear my bags. But again, they have so many unique choices online and just take a look at the detail. It is stunning. And this is an affordable luxury bag. It's not your one to $2,000 price tag. They remove all of that. And I even have a discount code for you to get an extra $30 off. I'm gonna have all of that linked in my bio. But again, the bag is made with premium Italian leather made in Italy with Italian designers on hand. And I love it. It is super roomy on the inside. I still haven't taken all the paper out, but it is the perfect size for me. Here's a look at their website and the other bags that they sell. They have so many colors to choose from. And I just wanna say thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring this video. So yeah, if you're looking for a new purse, I know Mother's Day is just around the corner. Definitely check out Teddy Blake. I'm gonna have their all their info in the description box below. Well, what's up guys? I know I look like an egg, but we're trying something new and cold today because this one, my bestie, Veronica, forced me. I'm just kidding, didn't force me, but we're doing this cryo cryotherapy. I'm already getting it wrong but it's basically okay. it's a cold box and it's supposed to help with our workout. I'm already going in with a hoodie. These things. No, you're ready, like, I'm, I'm ready, we're loaded. Hoodie. All right, we're going in. <laughs> For a minute. Oh, a minute. I am frozen. You know you're in Florida when they say flash flood warning on your phone and it's this is it. This is no joke. Look at that car. We almost got swallowed in this. It literally looks like we're in a canoe right now. How are you feeling driving? Nervous. Nervous break. <laughs> we're gonna hit the car. Oh my god. We're making it out. But can you believe this water? Look at that. This is an only in South Florida moment right here. Right here. Flood watch. This is Florida. 
Okay, so I've gotten a lot, a lot of comments about people asking me about my face routine, like my daytime, my nighttime. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't have one. What I use is CeraVe AM and PM, and I use the face wash with the HA in it. So instead of me doing it, I thought I'd bring in my skincare bestie, as you can see. Well, this is more like hair stuff, but a little bit of both. She is honestly someone I need to take notes from when it comes to this. Don't look at us now. We were mm. literally in the pouring rain, as you saw like seconds ago in this video. But um, I'm gonna have her show us the products she uses. Some of them I know, some of them I've used, but her skin, this has no makeup on it. This has nothing. I have a little foundation on and like a little bit of liner, so. You know. It took it took me a year. It took her a year. Lots. I highly recommend getting facials. I feel like not enough people get. Like, I've never gotten done. a facial yeah. in my life. Not once. So like dermaplaning or just like exfoliating your face, I think is really like the biggest thing. Um, I don't know if what's the term people are using on TikTok, but I think it's called slugging your face. It's like when you hydrate it and then I'm you use retinol TikTok. and then you use exfoliate and you do like a three day cycle. So that's what I started doing and I noticed a huge difference. Okay. Well. Guess we're gonna start slugging. Okay, so how we're splitting this up? Morning, night, take it away, my friend. So if you haven't heard of this, the Glow Screen Super Group is the best thing ever. I don't know if you guys are big on TikTok and stuff, but Alex Earl does like the drunk elephant, little like tinted drops, and that's like huge. But she mixes it in with like a moisturizer SPF, which costs more money. This is like everything in one. There you and go. I, I think I've seen some people post about this, but like, best purchase ever because you can have like a little like it looks like you just came from the beach like a little glow Ooh, we love that little sun kiss look it has um hydrolytic acid in it sunscreen in it that's plus 40 which is what you need and then nice i can't even pronounce it nicetamine you know how to say this oh no nope, that's it. okay we don't need to know how to say it we just need to know what it looks like on that's, the bottle that's the that is the product but they're all of them are in this okay which is great don't confuse them though that's night this is morning yeah, so. so morning you want a sunscreen, any sort of sunscreen. I use this one because it has the other stuff in it and it's plus 40 and it gives me that like glowy beach. So look. do you not use CeraVe AM? Cause that's what I use in the morning. Well, that's a sunscreen too. You can use any sort of sunscreen. You just should have some sort of sunscreen. I just like this one because it also gives me that tint. So like I'm wearing it right now and I feel like I don't need to wear foundation. Yeah, that's it true. It gives me that like glowy, like natural tint. Mm -hmm. Also, you have to be wearing a vitamin C. Like a vitamin C and sunscreen are your best friends. Mm, which one is this? This, this is, is the Dr. Dennis Gross. This is like more of like a high end vitamin C. You do not need like a really expensive vitamin C. And I believe this is like 38 bucks at Sephora, which is a little bit more expensive too. That's for the super goop. Yeah. Um, what brand vitamin C would you recommend then? Um, CeraVe. CeraVe. All right. Or um, this brand, I always butcher too. This French brand it has a great uh vitamin c they have a great spf that i used to use too okay I so you got this, options i use this every morning to cleanse it's like what 13 dollars at target and this bottle lasts me forever so i love this stuff and then for nighttime so for when we were talking about the slugging stuff this is kind of the nighttime so one night you're gonna do this like basically it's like one two three and then you recycle like the next session if that makes sense so first time, first night, you're going to just like basically have your skin take a fat drink of water. <laughs> that drink of water? That is what, like, it's like extra hydrating. This stuff is the best. This water sleeping mask, I live and breathe by it. It's like super, super hydrating is what you need, especially if you live in like a dry area. You really want to hydrate your skin a lot. Um, so this does that really well. Great for our up north girlies. Exactly. Um, you can always use a hydrolonic acid and then at night too, because that will also give you that extra hydration. So you, uh, use all, you use all of those products at night? I, for, for like the first night, for the hydration night, so it's like hydrating, retinol, exfoliant. So when I hydrate, I use this one always. But sometimes if I'm like feeling a little bit drier, I'll like mix this in. Just because like I said, like hydrolonic acid gives you that extra kind of hydration. Don't worry, I'm going to put this in the description box below, like which ones you should do. Hydrolonic acid night is the sleep mask and the HA from The Ordinary. And then for retinol night, I use hydrolonic acid for hydration. This gives me that smooth texture on my skin. And then retinol is good for anti-aging. Okay. And it keeps your skin tight. And, and then, then this stuff is like, I believe $11, $12. It's so cheap, lasts you forever. 
is amazing for a million things. It's great for exfoliating. So every, when do you use that though? Every third night. Every third night. I exfoliate night. my face. I use this. And then I'll sometimes also use these two with it. Like these two are great for and like. These two real quick just to zoom in. Those are HA. They're and about seven That long each. word that I don't can't say. And to take off your makeup, we are Garnier Girlies. We love this one. Yeah. I use this brand too. And this to cleanse your face. And that's cheap. a cleanse. We love this brand. Or you could use CeraVe. That's what I use. Yeah, CeraVe is a great brand too. I love CeraVe. I just have that stuff. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a good, I, I cleanse with CeraVe always. But CeraVe. here is Veronica Skincare. Hope this helps. We will link some of this down below. Let me know if you like this. Give us a thumbs up. Give Veronica a thumbs up because I'm not going to lie, I got nothing for you. So we are watching the news, which is not something I've done a lot since I've left the news industry. There's plenty of standing water on roadways. A flash flood emergency is still in place until... This is the most accurate TikTok if you ever want to move to Fort Lauderdale. Not the Bentley. Oh, no, no, no. It is like truly flooding here in Fort Lauderdale area. So this is what we're watching, Channel 7. The one and only, this is my favorite news channel in South Florida. So if you're here, always tune in to WSVN. But it's bad. It's so bad that I'm sleeping over Veronica's. That's how bad it is. But we're making popcorn. We did a nightly skincare routine. <laughs> and um, I'm hoping it clears up tomorrow. I'm hoping everyone's okay. Jeez, this looks rough. I'm not going to lie. What I don't miss is reporting out in the weather conditions. I reported through them all. Veronica has also reported through them all. Well, have you done blizzards? Have you done the snow? No. No, she hasn't done them all. Thank but God. she's done her fair share of uh, rain rain and Flood. um, floods. And hurricanes. Yep. But no, I don't miss this. And I feel for every single reporter that's out there today, um, this stuff is serious. And it's scary. And I am glad to, for once, be at home safe watching this. I think this is the first thing the first time first big weather event where i'm home and not on the streets and just 24 hours later the roads are fine the sun is out and that my friends is florida what a 24 hours we had i'm just grateful like no one i know is personally hurt in these floods again these are just so scary and i just remember seeing the worst of the worst when it came to natural disasters just being a news reporter and Truthfully, like waking up, it feels weird not being like out there. I mean, not kind of and not really because I, I didn't really report here in South Florida, right? But I just remember like the planning it took as a news station, like, hey, these are where we're sending our crews out. This is what we're doing. You get the gist. So I am on my way home. I'm on my home. My, on my way home to my baby Oakley. Can't wait to see her. I missed her last night. And yeah, all is well here in Florida. Sunny as heck, but it says it's supposed to rain yet again, so. I've gotten so many positive comments on my meal preps, what I eat in a day, and I know this video is not going to focus so much on a lot of that content, but I do have a different breakfast that I'm eating, so I was like, you know what, let me just pull it out and vlog it. I already cooked it, so I'll explain. Look how pretty this dish looks. It has so many colors on it, and I love that. With a little bit of cantaloupe. My mom made some eggs with uh, peppers in it. She had that, I think, yesterday, and so she left me some to warm up this morning. Three slices of turkey bacon. Those are from Costco. And, of course, a mug filled with grits this time, not oatmeal. My mom has those um, little packets. So these are the butter ones, and I just microwaved them, and they're amazing. So that's the breakfast this morning. Super yummy, pretty nutritious, and it's going to be filling. It is Oakley's third birthday, and we're having a birthday party for her. And all of her little doggy friends are here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oakley. Guys, this is the most thoughtful gift my bestie gave me. This is a YSL. Oh, I'm totally the wrong way. It's a YSL lipstick. And Miss Christiana here, the one, the only, got me this engraved she i swear guys she is the most thoughtful gift giver thank you <laughs> but guys i'm obsessed like how stinking cute how do you come up with these good gifts ideas um 
I think I just I love giving gifts and I love I also love receiving gifts. So I think about <laughs> at least you're honest. I am honest. I love receiving gifts. So I'm like, what would be the best possible thing that I could get this person that I can afford? Oh so, my goodness. Yeah. So she really is like every Christmas, birthday, like you surprise me every single time with yeah. a gift. It's literally <laughs> the cutest. But I've been friends with this girl for so so long. I mean, we go back to what, sixth grade? No. Yeah. Sixth grade? Like seventh, seventh grade, yeah. middle school. Yeah, we did middle school together. We would drive to high school every single day. <laughs> this is her favorite story to tell us all. Let her tell I feel it. like an old lady telling this story, but I have to tell it. So we <laughs> used to drive together. We lived like five minutes from each other, and thankfully Jenna always knew how to at least get to my house. But every day we would drive um, to school, and sometimes we would get to light. And Jenna's like, "This is the turn, right?" I'm like. We've been doing this drive for months and months and months. And somehow yep. Jetta would still forget like where the turn was to our high school. Um, this was like was when fun. GPS was not as prevalent on the iPhones. Yes. Like you would just have to use the like the old school navigation that was built into oh, the, in car, the car. And it was really bad. And mine, I was so scared to go on toll roads. Do you yes. remember? I wouldn't I wouldn't drive on the highway. And and I could never even till senior year, I was still like, is this the left? Is this is this how we get to our high school? It was uh, it was good. So yeah, thankfully I got an education because of this girl. Otherwise And I, I got an education because of you because I didn't have a right to school. So Yep. So so, you know, to to help each other out, that that was that. But bestie since the good old days, yeah. and now we're now we're getting up there. We're about to have our ten year high school reunion. I know. This I know. this June is like, or is it June May? When I do think, we? Yeah, I think it's in June. But that's the ten year mark. So we are actually about to go out with a bunch of our high school friends. So that'll be fun. We Yay. haven't all been together in <laughs> so long. The gang is all here. This is the high school squad. Go Coral Yay. Springs Colts. We got Katie. We got Christiana. Ashley, Lucas, Jorge, sorry, I just met him today. I didn't go to high school with him. And then this is Carlos and Alex, the one and only, the ringleader. It is 1247. I have not been out this late in so freaking long. It's crazy, but I'm with the girlies from, from the day ones, the high school girlies. This one has a, show how much on your hand. Yeah. <laughs> high school part two. <laughs> but um, how's the show? Did we like it? The show I was amazing. It. it was so good. It was amazing. The uh, the guys killed it as usual. So tell them about the band. So they don't really know. They, all yeah. they saw was the montage. So, yeah. so um, the band is consisted of uh, two guitarists, a bassist, a singer, and then the drummer. Um, I've known them for most of them probably for close to 20 years um one of my best friends her brother is the drummer but they're called got you covered and um they are probably like the best cover band in south florida they have like a like a monthly residency at both the uh del rey tin roof and the fort lauderdale tin roof so i feel like we're talking so weird because we can't we hear, hear. Oh, we literally like, can't we, hear anything. Uh, yeah. like, it's just reverberating like yeah. i feel like i'm inside of a spaceship right now it was I totally weird i like the now. way you're talking right now i'm hearing your voice like so differently <laughs> in my ear and i feel like my voice sounds so like harsh right now i don't know it's it's very strange but the cool part about these band guys is that they all went to our high school yeah. i mean they're not our same grade but they all went to our high school and they were in the high school band and we were all in Coral Springs, Coral Springs Band. Represent. And yeah, if you're from the South Florida area, Coral Springs, that's our hometown. But it was really fun. And yeah. we had so many like girls from high school there that I haven't seen forever because I just don't live here. And then, I mean, even like with you guys living yeah. here, do you see them a lot? I don't, I don't know. Mm, I do. No, it's well, funny. Alex that's does, but, around, so. yeah. <laughs> but it was a really fun night and now it is late and I still Time need to go. Home. I need to go home to my parents. Okay. Yeah. That's what I need to do. <laughs> but if so, any of you are ever in the area, check them out. They're awesome. Yes. Um, I'll yeah. link their social media right here and you can go watch them. Give them a follow. They're great. Yes. All right. See you guys. How Florida ask is this? It's Sunday. We are living our best beach life. I'm back with my gator besties. This is Lexi. David, 
Go Gators! I need to do that. <laughs> just to so let you know, we can't see right now, so we're just hoping that I, no, I can the, see your, the your heads are in it. <laughs> I think it's on glasses. <laughs> we have two of our other friends in the water right now. They're a little but, braver. Uh, Veronica, yeah. who you've seen on the channel quite quite often. But Wait, really? You've vlogged this right Yeah, I did a whole skincare routine with Veronica. That's oh, I'm going to go watch that. It's going to be on this episode. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm, I'm, guys, I'm like tearing. Tears are coming out of my eyes right now. <laughs> this She's just so happy to be with us. That's why. No, we're so excited. We haven't all been together. I know I said this yesterday with my high school friends but we haven't all been together in so long so I yeah. forced I forced Lexi to come I was actually bullied into coming to the I was nicely bullied I was nicely bullied I didn't say it was you I was nicely bullied into coming to the beach yes but, but yeah because news takes you all over the country so it sure does all yeah. of our gator friends are literally like in any state you can think of we probably Veronica know someone back down, yeah, uh, yeah but a good amount like so Lexi's yeah. now in West Palm Beach David's what? in New Orleans but at some point, we all lived in the in the great state of Florida. I'm going to make them come back, though. Don't worry. I, I want to come back. I'll bully you guys into coming back. And fun fact, David was my college roommate for all of a summer. I erased that summer from my memory. <laughs> I made him do the dishes, and he didn't she, like her, that. Her Italian popped off. Okay. <laughs> you guys, sometimes you need to learn a lesson. But okay. we, we no, had... it was, it, you, you taught me a lot of discipline. I, will I give did. You that, I did. You know? Like, but now I never let dishes sit. I was gonna say, You're you such a liar. <laughs> He's such a liar. <laughs> I'm going to do a vlog from New Orleans, and we will let you no. know. We'll yes, let you know. stay tuned. Stay we all, tuned we should go to New Orleans. That oh, would, so be, that would be such a fun. I feel like you guys us would have a good time with him. Have you ever been? I've never been to New Orleans. And okay, so Jack's family is like two hours from New Orleans. So every time. Mississippi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so <Still> crying. <laughs> yeah, that's a good roommate in him. He's like, let me fix you. Up. Yeah. So I really want to go to New Orleans, but I want Jack to come. Yeah. But we'll have I to do something. I want to go to Nashville when you guys are there. Yeah. yeah. Be I'm here. I'm in Nashville for one more month. And then Jack goes to boot camp. Oh, so sad. God. And you're going with him? Uh, no, I'm not going. He just asked me if I'm going no, to boot camp not, like, with are him. Are you moving like with No, him? I can't. We have to do love letters. We don't even get a phone call. Isn't that? Or oh, like that's maybe. So Wait, really? Well, if like maybe once a week if we're lucky for like 10 minutes. Oh my God. But we're going to be lucky. writing love letters. So <gasps> stay tuned on the vlog. <laughs> maybe something cute to like keep from. Maybe I'll read some of his love. Dear John. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> but what a gorgeous day. Yes. For all my northern followers, I'm so, so sorry. I'm showing you the beautiful Florida beaches, but this is us. I used to work in North Carolina, and now that I am in Florida year round, I in the winter, I am all at the beach, like, sorry, not sorry. I am not cold anymore. I in Ohio. I That's was in really Ohio. <laughs> Well, I stopped You're crying wrong. on this vlog, who knows? <laughs> and now it's three. We've said goodbye to our gator friends at the pool. I mean, we still have a couple. I'm here. Or Hello. at the beach. We said goodbye to them at the beach. Yeah. I'm not even speaking proper right now, but. I feel like sun-kissed and tan and like my best Floridian self. Living your best Floridian life. Yep. Sending my sweet old David back to... Back to Nola. Back to Nola. But I did get a good tan though. Yeah, no, on this arm. Ready? <gasps> oh my god, I burned. Look how tan. Uh, I burned. No, I, burn. I don't know why. I feel like I just... Yeah, the trio. This was literally our college trio. We could... Yeah. We would spend so much time together. We're not old. We're not old at all. Jenna, you're getting married. I'm getting married. Am I old? Old behavior. Old behavior. That's adulting. You're gonna get married, and then before you know, you're gonna be pregnant, and I'm gonna be an aunt. Oh. Auntie Vivi. An uncle date. Sorry, I just wanna take a poll of the viewers here. Do y'all think it is appropriate for me to be in the bridal party? I think it is. <laughs> David asks me. I think every bridal every party needs a gay, and I and she's not about that. So I just that's okay. a, that's the no, no, question. No, no, it's not it's about no, no, no. It's not about you being gay, David. No, Don't I know. Start it's, it's something about, here. No, it's I about support. Like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, oh, you're you're always like, oh, it has to be traditional, like, and you would tr wouldn't he, like he wants like, to be a, up there with the bride with the with my bridesmaids. Yeah, you're damn right. I want to be standing up there. <laughs> I want to. I want to ride in the limo. Like I want to do all of that. What if you so. were like the ring bearer? Yeah. Well, well, my my other friend Val, she's gonna get married, and she said I could be her maid of honor. Oh. Well, you but, like, have a different. Well, I have. I already have my maid of honor man, man picked of honor. out. But I'm not at, like, okay, I get it. If I'm not the maid of honor. But I should at least be in the bridal party. So that's that. That's a question. Okay, but for the your first viewers. thing, the first thing David told me today when I saw him, he's like, "Am I gonna be the maid of honor in your wedding?" 
I was kind of joking, a little bit, but I did. I did want to be in the bridal party though. Only thirty percent joking. Only thirty percent joking. So actually, let us know. Do you think? I mean, I obviously would be a little untraditional, but leave us a comment. Drop a thumbs up. I don't know. Let me know. Do you think David should be a bridesmaid in, in our twenty twenty five wedding? Agree with me. I really like it. it, it <laughs> what? What tra like the traditions don't matter. He is they, my best friend, but don't I don't know. I mean. It doesn't matter, you know? I'm a part of your life, I'm a big part of your life, and I just feel like I want to be standing up there. Aww. Well, I, oh, I can give you away. Or you can give me away, yeah, you're gonna do that over my, over my father? Johnny doesn't get to give her away, David gets to give her yeah, away. Yeah, not my perfect father. I love my dad. My, I can't imagine walk, not walking down there with dad. Johnny and David give you Oh my away. god, imagine. Oh my god, can you stand on one side? Uh, I would love that. And then your mom is just like in the... I can't. <laughs> well, let us know. Should David be a bridesmaid? Should he not? A bridesman. I think that's how we're ending this video. This is it. This is this is the end of it. Thanks Perfect. so much for following along. Catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.